Hello and welcome back. This lecture is about how to get the most out of this course. It's an important lecture, so bear with me for a second here because I have two main tips that are going to really help you to learn Photoshop about a million times faster than you would otherwise, okay? The first thing that you need to do is you need to set a goal for yourself to study Photoshop for 20 hours. This is what I did to get over my learning curve. And I got the idea from a YouTube video by Josh Kaufman called The First 20 Hours. And if you wanna just search for that on YouTube, The First 20 Hours. And he talks about how important it is to just spend that first 20 hours learning and doing it hands-on. So that's the second part. You need to do it hands-on. So every time you see something interesting that I'm teaching you, you need to jump over to Photoshop. If you have to pause the video, pause the video. If you have to rewind it a little bit to go back and listen as you're in Photoshop, that's fine. But jump into Photoshop and try out the tools. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. In fact, when I'm learning, I like to think of it as, okay, how can I go break this now, right? So I'm gonna go over to Photoshop with a new technique, right? Let's say it's the brush tool, okay? And I'm gonna see how bad of a job I can do with the brush tool so that I can learn how to use it, okay? In fact, let me give you an example right here because I'm in Photoshop. So let's say I just watched a video about how to use the brush tool and I'm in Photoshop and I know that the brush tool is over here. So I'm gonna go over here and click on it, right? Oh wait, that's not the brush tool. Just kidding, I'm gonna go over to the brush tool, which is right here, and I'm gonna click on it. Or better yet, what if the instructor told me that the shortcut key for the brush tool is the letter B. You can see it says the letter B right there. Then I'm gonna leave my mouse in the middle here and I'm gonna hit the letter B. So you're gonna practice the keyboard shortcuts as you're going. That's very important. You'll get really good at the most common keyboard shortcuts if you practice them as you go. So you don't get in the habit of going over here and clicking, you just get in the habit of clicking B and you're in a brush tool, okay? Um, I need something to paint on. So again, I'm doing this hands-on, right? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna open something. It can be a canvas or an image. I'm just gonna open a picture of this cappuccino mug. It doesn't really matter. The point is I'm getting my hands dirty. So I have this picture of a cappuccino mug and I have a little brush tool here and I'm just gonna try it. Like, whoa, hey, I just painted something. And then the instructor said something about using the square bracket keys to make the brush bigger. So I'm gonna try that. Whoa, that works. They also said something about if I push the number five, it'll reduce the opacity. And you don't need to remember any of this now, I'm just using this as an example. Oh look, the opacity changed to five there. Well, let's try a three and see if that works. Oh, hey, cool, it turned to 30%. What does that do? Oh, it makes it lighter. All right, so I'm just playing around with this. And then if I wanna, let's say that I had this fantasy about being able to create a shadow under something, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I could try to draw a shadow, brush a shadow. And I'm gonna see, oh, that doesn't work very well. So I'm probably gonna need some more techniques to be able to effectively make a good shadow underneath the coffee cup, right? But now I have questions in my mind. I know the limits of what I know. I've made some mistakes already, which is great. Now I have questions. So now when I get to a technique that's gonna help me to make a sharp edge along the bottom of a coffee cup, hint, that's gonna be a layer mask, which we'll learn about later. But I'm now gonna be watching for that so that when I learn it, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. That's what I can do to create a sharp edge along the bottom of this coffee cup using a brush, right? So as you get your hands dirty, it's gonna bring up good questions. You can ask those in the discussions if you want. I'm happy if you ask in the discussions, that's great. I will answer all of your questions. But if you want an instant answer, you can just go to YouTube or Google and type in your question. Like, how do I put a shadow under a coffee cup? Or how do I put a shadow under an object with a brush in Photoshop? And you will find tutorials on it and you will learn more. And then you can come back to the video and I'll continue talking about the brush tool and you'll learn more about the brush tool. 
and you'll just learn exponentially faster if you do it that way. It seems slower because you're taking a little bit of time to do some research, you're taking a little bit of time to get in here and experiment around, but your actual ability to do things in Photoshop, which is the goal of this course, to get you doing things, practical, useful things in Photoshop, that ability is going to grow much faster if you take the time to do it hands-on, okay? So a quick recap, follow along with the lectures, pause it frequently, rewind frequently, jump over into Photoshop as often as you possibly can, Every time you hear me say something like, uh, I say something about the move tool, right, which is right here, uh, you can go click on it, or you can also say, well, let's see, I was in the brush tool, that was B, he said the move tool is V, so I'm going to try pushing V, and then I'm going to try grabbing something and moving it, hmm, let's see, that didn't work, I wonder what this means, don't worry about that, cancel that, then you're going to be like, why doesn't the move tool work, I can't move my layer. Well, then you're going to go to Google, or you're going to go to the discussions, or you're going to keep listening to the video, and I'm going to tell you, well, hey, if your move tool doesn't work, you might want to go to your layers panel, make sure your layer is not locked, and now you'll be able to move it. Okay, but if you wouldn't have gone and tried to move it, you wouldn't know that that was going to happen. You wouldn't have gotten that experience and overcome that obstacle, okay? And that's half the battle with Photoshop is overcoming obstacles, solving problems, and figuring out ways to work around things that might be holding you back, okay? So anyway, you go and you, you use the keyboard shortcut, you practice a little bit with the tool, and then jump back into the lecture, hit play again, and continue listening. The minute you hear another thing, like next thing maybe I say something about uh, the crop tool, which is right here, right? and you can hover over it and see that the shortcut is C. So while I have my mouse over here, I'm going to hit the C. That's going to bring up all kinds of different things in the crop tool, okay? So now I'm learning another thing, okay? So that's what you need to do, and I promise you this course will teach you a ton. Commit that 20 hours, keep track of it. Write it on a notepad, write it, I keep track of it on my phone. Whenever I want to learn something new, I put dates, 20 days and I make a goal to do an hour a day and even if I don't accomplish it that's fine but I mark down how much time I've done so I can keep track of a running total so I know when I've hit that 20 hours and every time I've done that I've been blown away with how much I learned by committing that 20 hours okay so do that today make that commitment write it on a phone app write it on a piece of paper doesn't matter but give me 20 hours and I promise you I will make you totally kick ass at Photoshop.